vaccine hesitancy is very dynamic. We've seen a lot of changes during the course of the last year. It depends what, what people are hearing in the media and social media about uh, how important it is to get vaccinated, the side effects of vaccines, um, whether there's a risk to them if they're not vaccinated from, for example, new variants. though these are quite large surveys, uh, you know, there's 50,000 people being surveyed every day, uh, you still need to analyze the data appropriately to deal with uh, the fact that in any given zip code on any given day, you may not have that many responses. the first data visualization by zip codes. And just to show you how powerful that is, and you know, we have like 3,100 counties in the United States, but more than 30,000 zip codes. So it's literally 10 times the localization. And uh, this work will be invaluable to officials at all levels of uh, the COVID response. And so our hope is that this suite of efforts being undertaken from incentives from states and businesses will be most active in the areas that actually have the lowest vaccine confidence rates by zip code. And that policymakers and all of us that are working together to boost vaccine uptake will create baselines and chart progress over time in boosting vaccination rates in these red zones that this data visualization will identify. As we come out of the summer, when, when seasonality starts to increase again and the, the probability of transmission will go back up, uh, the difference between a community where 90% are vaccinated and only 50% uh, will, be, will be really quite substantial. really want to let the data speak and tell us when and where uh, initiatives, whether they're lotteries or other types of outreach, actually are having an effect or, or not. If we do a better job with better data that IHME is enabling, uh, we can reopen this country safely and sustainably and be better off uh, than we would have been.